YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut transformation. In this video, I'm going to be doing a textured crop top with a skin fade. I always like to begin by brushing or combing out my client's hair. And the reason for this is I just want to get everything to lay in its natural direction so I could get a good clear view of what needs to take place. Alright, so now that I got everything laying down neatly, I'm going to do a little clipper over comb to knock some of this bulk out. And my client right here, she's super dope. She's a local DJ where I live and she's actually a regular clientele of mine, but I haven't cut her since August. So the fact that her hair looks like this, it, it's weird to say the least. My client right here typically likes to rock a really nice clean skin fade with some texture on top and a little short style on top. So the fact that her hair looks like this right now is, is, is weird. Again, it's weird to just say the least. But shout out to Robin. I appreciate you for letting me shoot this dope transformation. And right here I threw on my wall number four premium guard. I do have the lever closed and I'm just continuing to clean up that area that I just knocked down. I just wanna even everything out so I could get a good clear view of this fade that I'm getting ready to give her. Alright, so now that I got the sides knocked down with that number four, I'm going to re-wet the top and I'm still going to remove a little bit of bulk from up there. I know the desired look for my client, which happens to be a shorter textured crop top. So I went ahead, wet the hair, combed it out, and now I'm going to evenly part it down the middle and I'm going to knock some weight off the sides. Again, she's wanting a nice textured crop top. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just knocking down bulk and I'm prepping her for that crop on the sides. All right, so now I'm gonna begin my sheer work on top. And me and my client were so involved in just conversating and, and catching up with one another that I kind of forgot that I was filming. So right here I'm cutting more in like a freestyle way and what I mean by that is I'm not necessarily following any guidelines or I'm not setting in any guides and, and I'm kind of just cutting the way that I know how. And I apologize, I kind of got out of video mode for a minute. Again, I was just chalking it up with my client. You know, because customer service is definitely you know i would say 90 percent of the service to be honest with you it's all about that experience that you give your client and although she knows by coming here and not to the shop that it is going to be a little different because i'm going to be filming and so that's the number one priority but nevertheless the way she feels as a client is still my number one priority so with that being said um i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch me do my thing again this is typically how i cut every day in the shop and the only time i cut really in a structured set form is when i'm recording and trying to make it educational for the viewer which happens to be you but that kind of slipped my mind because again i was just chalking it up with my client so i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and just watch right out to this and take what you can from it and kind of to be honest this is where i feel like at one point all of us should be and that's in a place where we're comfortable enough to just go in and perform a service without stressing all these guides and all these all this step work. You know, I want I want everybody to be at a point where they could just come in and do work. So I hope that makes sense. Again, I apologize, but here's a way that you guys could get to know me a little bit better and kind of see how I really just naturally work and do my thing.
Alright, real quick for those of you that stuck through this share portion, I just wanted to talk about the giveaway that I keep talking about but I failed to announce. I'm looking at it right now and I just want to say that one of you lucky subscribers are going to win a really dope brand new limited edition black and gold wall magic clip and i'm super excited to give this out and one thing that really really excites me about it and i think it's super dope is my boy over at barber's gold reached out to me he supports the channel he's a barber himself he's part of the community and he told me hey and i know you're gonna do this giveaway with that black and gold clipper so let me go ahead and bless the channel let me go ahead and bless the giveaway with some gold blades so we're going to include a brand new set of gold blades. It's going to be the original stagger tooth blade that does come on the wall magic clip. So shout out to Barber's Gold for, you know, for being a dope person, for being a part of this channel and just, you know, for supporting his barber community. Again, this is something that he does for a business. And the fact that, you know, he's just giving back shows his appreciation. And I think it's super dope. So I'm really excited about this giveaway. And so I am going to announce it really soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure your bell notifications are on. And what I will say right now is you will need to be subscribed to the channel and you will need to be following Barber's Gold on Instagram. So if the, for those of you that want to get a jump and, a, and a, a step ahead of others, now's the time to do so. So now that my sure work's done, I'm going to jump in with my Babyliss FX Silver Trimmer. And I'm going to begin to set and create my first guideline, which is going to be my bald guide. Alright, so now that our bald guideline has been created, now it's time to completely bald it out. So I'm going to jump in with my Babyliss um, Pro Foil FX02, and this is the gold version. And when you see me get towards the top of that line from that guide that we originally set, you're going to notice that I'm using that flick out motion. And that's because I want to demonstrate a really clean, smooth transition from completely bald to stubble. So by me using that flick out motion towards the top of that guide, it is going to leave a little bit of stubble. And that's what I'm looking for because again, that transition is going to help my blend pop later. All right, so now that we got that completely blended out, now I'm gonna jump in with my Babyliss Pro Silver FX with the lever open, and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. So now that my guide's been created, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of that guide. And little by little as I work my way up, I'm going to work the notches on this lever. I think it has four notches and I'm going to go through all four of them. So it's kind of going to do my fade work for me and I'm just going to trust the clipper if you will. What I will say is if you're not using this type of clipper, um, this is similar to using a wall clipper. That's the best way that I could describe it. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your lever little by little and work your way up. And each time that you do that, you're going to notice that that guide's moving up with you. But that's okay because that's exactly what we're looking for. By the time you work your way back towards the top of that guide and your lever's fully extended, it'll be completely blended out.
All right, so now my notch is completely open. So basically that means that I went through my step work. So after my step work is complete, now I'm gonna go through in detail and knock out any blemishes or dark spots that I may have seen when I was going through my process. So basically you're gonna wanna trust the process, go through it, and then you're gonna wanna come in in detail. And so now I'm gonna throw on my wall number one color guard. I do have my lever open, and now I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. And I'd say I'm giving myself about half of the space that I just gave myself with the previous guide. And the reason being for that is there's not a whole lot of area to work in right here. And this is actually gonna be a crop top and that tends to be the look for it. It kind of goes from being blended out to density right away. So we're just trying to go for that overall look of a crop top. And so that's why I set this guide in this way. So once my guide has been set and created, now you're gonna see that I close my lever and I begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of that guide. And I'm gonna keep my lever closed and I'm gonna go right up to where I just left off with the lever fully open. So typically the one close tends to leave a little bit of weight behind and right here it was still noticeable but it, it wasn't as noticeable as it is with some clients. But either way anytime that you notice weight is left behind with the one close you're going to want to follow it up with your wall half color guard with the lever open or whatever half guard you're using and you're going to want to come in with the lever fully open and you're going to want to attack right above the weight that you see. Again, that's right above the weight that you see and you're going to want to eliminate that weight using that fade down process so you'll close your lever as needed until that guide's completely blended out. Alright, so now that my blend's coming together on the side, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and start doing some texture work on top because again, this is a crop top so there's not going to be a whole lot of fade work. And so, what I'm using here is a technique to, that allows you to add texture into your client's hair and it's really dope and I don't necessarily cut in a guide like formation for this but I am cutting in somewhat of a pattern to keep everything very consistent so once you choose a pattern that you want to use what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come in with your shears about halfway close and you're gonna start to slither them or channel them across the hair that you desire to add the texture to and when you're doing that, you're gonna notice that that hair is cutting like it would if, if you were running shears across paper. You're literally gonna feel it cut as you work your way through the hair. And anytime you feel that the shears wanna get stuck or not continue forward, you're gonna wanna slightly open and close them. And that's just gonna go ahead and cut that hair that's preventing you from slithering across. And it's gonna continue to add texture to the look you're going for. So now that I added that texture, I'm gonna go ahead and do some clipper over comb to kind of knock down some weight and bestly connect my blend into that length on top. One thing I wanna mention about the way that I'm doing this clipper over comb, and clearly we could all see that I have my wall number one color guard on my clipper. The lever is closed, but any time that I run this combination of the number one guard on my clipper with the clipper closed, and I'm using the comb, that's basically equivalent to a number two. And what I mean by that is that comb right there, that comb acts as a number one guard. And I already have the number one guard on my clipper, so together that makes a number two. So I know that I could comfortably come in with this setup right here, knock down weight, connect the, connect the fade into the length on top the best way that I can, and any weight that's left behind, I know that I could comfortably come in and clean it up with my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever fully open, and begin to attack weight and use that fade down process to eliminate it. And the reason I could comfortably do that is again, because that combination of the clipper with the number one guard with the lever closed and that comb together are as equivalent as a number two. And so by me following it up with the one and a half premium guard with the lever fully open, it's allowing me to comfortably come in and not worry about setting or creating any new guide. But then it allows me to use that fade down process to eliminate any weight that I see. 
all right y'all so there it is the final look here's a little close-up of that texture that i just gave her i think this is a really good look for my client and it's definitely a transformation if you agree with that and you got anything useful out there smash that like button if you're new to my channel i suggest you stick around it's only gonna get doper from here i appreciate y'all be blessed and be a blessing i'm out